Hello, fellow Capricorns and cross watchers, a fucking like. It is time for your mid February to March reading of this current year. Capricorns, this is for your sign in the sun, moon, rising, and Venus positions. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, cool. If not, you boop your nose, away it goes. There's no point in worrying about shit today. Don't have nothing to do with you. Ain't none of your damn business unless he knows you like I am, which is why we're all here. So, uh, Capricorns and Cross Watchers, yours is pretty interesting, because I don't know whose perspective this is, but, uh, I'm not even sure what the title is just yet. Because I'm still looking over it like, hmm, because apparently there's some stuff that I'm not supposed to be entirely aware of in this reading. That happens sometimes, like... Even as a reader, there are things that I'm not privy to because it could interrupt my flow. And since this is Capricorns, this is definitely one of those times where the flow is interrupted for me and I can't entirely pick out what the story is itself. But we're going to go ahead. There is one card that interests me and it's in the Fears and Rejections that I'll show you. This is my new Dolly deck. Dolly. Anyway, we have the moon reverse right here. Someone's figured out like... Some negative influences, someone's observing that, might be a water sign right here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be a Pisces or Cancer for sure, but they are definitely in their feelings and feeling like boiling someone's child's pet alive. Just to get that person's attention, just to hurt their feelings. I don't know, it's like someone's either gaining perspective about this person... Or maybe they learned about this person. That's the thing, Capricorn. You're all the way over here. Which is very strange. Like, you're not really in this reading as much as you're just a, a small portion of the story. Which I find very weird. That's why I'm like, well, what is this, you know? Like, this doesn't sound like something that I... Mm. It's like an outsider's perspective or some other perspective or something... Of different nature because the last time we had someone who was a fucking threat now we got somebody here well I'm not sure what the fuck their problem is but there's a lot of emotion right maybe it's our little Staka again who fucking knows but like they're definitely in their emotions about something maybe they got caught up in their shit right we got the magician right here which is actually Dolly himself looking all crazy and being like I can't believe this powers work for me <laughs> right just fire behind him strength power he's completely encapsulated but i feel like that power is not being negotiated well it's like there's a bit of unfairness going on here speaking of that unfairness we got the six of pentacles reversed once again and when we look at it this way like there's somebody on the ground and there's someone who actually has like a limp or i think they're missing a foot i think they're missing a foot because i really don't see the foot so this person's limping, and but the guy with the money is only given to the dude who's sitting down, not the one who's standing up trying to meet the guy eye to eye. But here it's like, dude with the limp is totally being fucking ignored. He just walked up, and he's been giving change to this one dude. And here's another quarter for you, and another quarter for you. Hey, can I have a quarter? I want some gum. No, I'm serving this person. And another quarter for you. And it's like someone needs to restrict that shit. Or someone wants to. It's like, you know what, I'm not giving to... The person who needs it or deserves it, whatever. The obstacle and challenge, though, there's the high priestess here with intuition. And the emperor. It's like he's getting downloads or he's learning something or figuring it out. He could be this king of wands over here. Leo, Sag, or Aries, right? Now, here's the card I actually want to talk about, which I found very intriguing because I actually recognize this painting because I remember it from a documentary about the French Revolution at some point. Don't know why, but this is actually a painting of a revolutionist. I can't remember his name, but he was a very, very radical person, right? He wrote letters and articles and editorials, um, basically fanning the flames of the revolution and getting people to a fevered pitch of, like, rioting and garroting people and just basically putting the guillotine on a pedestal, being like, this is the greatest thing to happen in the front is to murder all these people. And, so, and a young girl got tired of this went to his home while he was in his bathtub and murdered him in his bathtub and they found him like this and he was painted in this position and this image became a martyrdom 
this four of swords situation was a symbol of martyrdom of somebody who kind of like helped inspire the war to be way more bloodier than what it should have been and his death did an even more awesome job it was like he died for the revolution when in reality he died because the revolution was killing so many countrymen and not really solving much of the political problems and terribleness is what it started now there was another person who i remember with the whole french revolution who mm, they got kind of the worst punishment their jaw was kind of broken which was crazy because they started the war running their mouth and then like they died not being able to but that's for the four of swords you know it's like a recovery which is really crazy symbolism for the four of swords considering i actually know what that painting is a lot of these i don't recognize for sure I need to read the book, honestly, but it's like a... That really speaks to me because I actually recognize that painting. But it's like this person's death was a sacrifice to make them a martyr. And that helps bring them some rest because it doesn't seem like anything else is going to start with them, right? The How should start to end? Someone, Capricorn and Crosswatcher, isn't going to get a victory by either separating from you or separating from a toxic situation. Which I feel is fucking crazy. You know, that's the weirdest, that, that's what makes this, like, reading a little bit weird for me and why I'm not ga getting the entire grasp of it, because it's just like, well, what does that mean? And what does it have to do with us? Like, why are we the component that means that, like, some, like, I don't, like, it's confusing, it's like, hmm. We got the King of Swords right here. Or Wands. He's the beginning theme, so it's like someone sitting in their empire, standing on their energy, just not even really paying attention to any of this at all. He's just looking away, trying to look pretty. Like, I look good. That's all that matters. And this emperor over here is looking over at this magician, not being fair with shit, right? But I don't feel like he's judging it in a bad way. If that makes any fucking sense. It's like he's seeing it from some sort of perspective I'm not aware of just yet. Like... I don't even think this is you, Capricorns, but whatever. Anyway, um, this um, moon reverse with the Queen of Cups reverse definitely could be Pisces or Cancer. Um, they got feelings of regrets and they just want to go. And, the, and it's because they're all in their feelings about some nonsense. I'm not sure what the fucking nonsense is, but they're all in their feelings about it. It's like... <laughs> I don't know. It's like there's something that's just bothering them with the Four of Cups, really. For whatever reason. Who knows? Um, then we got the Magician down here. Mr. Dolly himself. With the Six of Coin down here. This Magician is magically not being fair. This is how this person's manifesting this shit. They got the world here. Ooh. Yeah. Um, they got a world here where they feel like there's no love being given. They don't have any choices, and all they want is a new beginning. That's probably why they're acting in an unfair manner. Like, they're holding something. They carry precious, even though it's time to let it go, I feel like, you know. Because they can't heal from this situation. I feel like this is somebody who can't, like, heal on their own, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. Like, who's ever manipulating this unfairness? Like, they want to hang on to something, but they don't know how to fucking actually go about doing it, you know? Up here with this unfairness as well, like, someone's ignoring someone with a lost foot to just give to someone who just sits on their ass, you know? There needs to be restriction with that, I think, and I think that person knows this. You know, secrets might just come out because of it, too. Because people be gossiping and, and chilling at the water cooler. Like, hey, look, I'm just swimming up in this bubble, but I just want to let you guys know. Blah, 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 blah. You know, like, having a party and shit, right? Obstacles and challenges. This emperor who's getting the downloads from the high priestess might need to make a choice. Look it over here, right? And then... Might choose to work things out. Despite all this nonsense. Capricorns? What the fuck? I don't understand. Like, I, I know I'm telling a story here, but I'm not entirely grasping it. I really hope this isn't one of those things where it's going to happen like two weeks and I'm like, fuck. I literally knew this was going to happen and I didn't see it coming. 
Because that's what it started to feel like. It feels like one of those things where it's not going to resonate with me until like a week or two later. Because it's, it's so vague to me, you know? But this Emperor right here with the downloads, he might be, like, he might get information, too, or a message of some sort, I feel like, as well. Like, this High Priestess is his advisor or some shit, and it's like he's making a choice to, like, work on things, I think. Which is the obstacle and challenge, it's like, getting this dude to help. Because I feel like, once again, this person isn't doing anything on this side. Like, they're only taking care of people who are sitting down, not someone who's actually trying to put in work, I feel like. Fears and rejections. What was this card? Oh, the Four of Swords, where someone feels like they're a martyr and something isn't going to work out. Um, and they won't start anything. Well, that shit's going to end. There's the death card. You know? And bad investments with the Seven of Pentacles. Putting to death the shit that's causing the rotting. What the fuck does that mean? What? No, I'm dropping one more because I'm just like, what? What the fuck does that mean? Ten of Wands. I guess whatever was causing a burden, whatever was rotting the situation, is going to be done and over with. It's dying. Either that or whoever this is, Capricorn and Crosswatcher, if they do put an end to what's making them feel like they're dying in a bathtub in order to make themselves a martyr, once they kill it off, it's going to kill off what's rotting, but they're still going to be left with a big-ass burden on their back, you know? So, like, I still got to carry all of this shit, even if I do end it, you know? How shit starts, how it will end. There's no victory with trying to separate from you or from a toxic situation, Capricorns and Crosswatchers. And you're pretty, okay, so it might be you right here. You're not entirely rooted, man. You might actually been uprooted. You might be a hoe, and you're just sitting there waiting for someone to just walk up. You got the Emperor and the King of Swords, but neither of them are reversed, so it's just kind of like, mm. It's like you aren't stable, and this person's sitting there in your spot waiting for you, almost. What's the ending theme with this? Something's not moving along, or time stood still for this emperor. He just wants to stay in place, I feel like. Hmm. No, not the emperor, the king of wands, I mean. My bad. It's like time's not moving, and they're like a child prince or some shit. Or they're just not paying attention to the scenario. One of the two. Like, they don't notice anything at all. Like, they, like, I, I, which is weird. It's like, if someone's getting the high priestess, I expect them to understand what the fuck's going on. But it's like, there's a tower that's waiting to be struck twice. It's like, someone hasn't learned a lesson yet. Now it's going to be coming down at some point. All right, Capricorns, Cross Watchers. Let's clarify this vibe and energy. Someone's ready to throw down. Fuck it. Like, let's just, let's do this now. Get ready to fight? Ooh, for the Empress. Bro, what? Oh, dude, is someone fighting for your heart? Is someone looking at you like you're an Empress? Because you are uprooted. You know? Is someone trying to fight, fight for your affections, Capricorn? That's a fucking first. You know, here in the situation down below, someone definitely is seeing something coming. Someone foretold this a while ago, and they, I think they want to leave before it actually happens, Capricorn and Crosswatcher. Somebody, this fire side here for sure. You could be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign, an earth sign for sure. Maybe a little bit of air. So let's see, wants and wishes, right? These secrets to come out. And people be gossiping a little bit, I think. I think someone wants to be single. I think they'd be happier being single, Capricorns and Crosswatchers. Um, 
But, um, that might be a trap. Or someone's trying to trap you while you are single. That's weird. One more on that, because I'm a little bit, like, hmm. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That does not work. Hmm. Is being single just a trap that's, like, gonna work against you? Or is someone trying to trap you as you're single? Or is it because you're happy by yourself, someone's trying to trip you up, and it never works out in their favor, you know? It's just like, I am not gonna let anything stop my day. Obstacles and challenges, though? Oh! Oh! Wait, 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 because you want this person, or somebody wants this person to work it out. Are you trying to set up a trap to make it look like you're single, so they, like, fall into the trap, but it's not gonna work because... They probably won't. Who left me a voicemail? Oh, okay. Whatever. Let's see. This person it just does not have emotions that work, I feel like. Or they're not good at emotionally communicating. And I think that actually bothers them. Hmm. saying i'm not seeing anybody leave in this situation capricorns and cross watchers it's more like people it's like dude you have a lot of people who want that ass i'm just saying like there's there's at least two people at least two people who are um one wants to fight for you and one's waiting for you to come home or some shit Fears and rejections. The end of things will still leave rotten fruit and you'll probably still be burdened with a bunch of shit. You know, like, uh, you just want to take a leap of faith, or they want to take a leap of faith and start with a clean slate and pay homage where it's due, or pay shit back. You know, like, actually, like, I feel like I always do the right thing, but there's still four fucking people! It's not even a three-way. It's like a four-way. There are multiple people in this Capricorn. There are people who definitely want your attention. You have become quite a valuable piece. My dudes and dudettes. Way more than I think anybody's telling you, too. Because it seems like you are just... Uh, you're. It's like you're on sale. So let's see how shit starts out end... You're uprooted, you're not stable, you might even be an unfaithful spouse, you sly little devils, you. And someone's waiting on you to come back home. Things might not be working out the way it was meant to be set up. There might not be enough to be setting anything up already, because it's time for a crossroads. All these pieces are not here, so it's time for a decision. One more... Which gnome you gonna give to, Capricorn? That's the question. Oh my. I was not expecting that. But yeah, like, which gnome are you giving to, Capricorn? Because I feel like that's an issue right here. You're trying to figure out which one's even worth your time. Oops. Oopsies. My candle is, a. Uh, waxing all over the place. So, that's the end of your reading, Capricorn. Hopefully this helps somebody out. I hope this doesn't hit me in a couple weeks, because I feel like this is one of those. But, in the end, if you guys want to like, share, subscribe, that's up to you. No pressure if you don't want to. It's all good, man. But, I would greatly appreciate it, of course. I love y'all's faces. You guys try to take it easy. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.